this question it says in a regression of average wages on the number of employees of 30 firms you're given that this is the first regression equation w represents the wage and n the number of employees you're given the t value and r square then you're given regression to where you are given w by n here and 1 by n here again a regression model you're given the t value and r square question number one Interpret the two regression. So let's look at the first one. Dekho dhyan se. This is my first regression model. Dekho beta. As my number of labor increases by one unit, the average wage increases by 0.009 units. So when number of uh, employees increase by one unit, average wage increases by 0.009 units. Look into the second model. Here we are going ahead and saying that W by N is equal to 0 0.08 plus 7.81 by N. So what I can go ahead and do in this case, again, I can just differentiate. So if I differentiate both sides with respect to N, I will get how W by N changes when N changes. It will be 7 by 8 is a constant. Differentiation of 1 by N will be minus 1 by N squared. Deco, W by N is average wage per worker, per capita wage rate, hai na? worker uh, wage per worker. So we are asking how wage per worker changes, per capita wage rate changes as the worker change. And I am getting a negative sign, right? I am getting a negative sign. But I am also getting N in the denominator. So just, just suppose N ka value 1 low. So you will have minus 7.8 by 1. N ka value too low. So you will have minus 7.8 by 2 square. Hai na? So this will be minus 7.8 by 4. Which will be minus 1 point. Uh, 1.9 something. But you see that this is an increase in wage. Because this is a negative number, hai, minus 7.8 and minus 1.9. This is greater. So as the number of worker is increasing, the wage per worker is increasing by these many units. Because in the denominator, mein hai, that is one negative relation. But a negative sign bhi hai, it makes the relation positive. Right? Okay. Now, beta, let's look into the next part. So, it says, what would be the reason for transformation? Heteroscedasticity, simple. Jab bhi, jab bhi we will divide, right, to heteroscedasticity present. Hai. What assumption has been made about error variance while going from regression 1 to regression 2? So, we assume kiya hoga ki variance of error would be sigma square n square. Would be sigma square n square. So, jabhi bhi variance sigma square n square ke form mein hoga, if I take its under root, it will be sigma into n, we will divide by n. So, since in the model we are dividing by n, we are, we are assuming that the variance is proportionate to n square. In particular, we are assuming that the variance of ui is sigma square n square. It is sigma square n square. Is this clear? So, we are doing this change. The reason is heteroscedasticity. Okay, next part, beta. Can you relate slopes and interpret the two model? Okay, so what we can do, go ahead and do now. We'll begin with the second model. And we will multiply by n throughout. So, if I multiply by n throughout, I will get this. Right? So, this goes ahead and tells me that when worker increases by one unit, the average wage increases by 0.008 units. And what was model 1 telling? It increases by 0.009 units. So this is how you can do the comparison. By multiplying throughout with n, this tells that when the number of workers increase, average wage increases by 0.008 units. And this tells that average wage increases by 0.009 units. Okay, beta. Come to the next part. Compare R square of the two models. So, because the dependent variable is not in the same format. Ek case mein dependent variable hai wage rate. And dusre mein hai wage per worker. 
the dependent variable is not in the same format we cannot go ahead and compare the r square so r square are not comparable in this case because the dependent variable is not in the same format okay beta thank you